Hello, everyone. We are Pastor and First Lady Burke in the name of Jesus, Pastor Reginald Burke and First Lady Rashawn Burke. We are here at Bray Temple, CME Church, 73rd and Greenwood in the Greater Grand Crossing area of Chicago on the south side. We are so excited and delighted to receive this invitation from Pastor Lee to give this very short devotion in a time of need. We were asked to uh, give a word. Is there a word from the Lord in the midst of this pandemic and of, of these uh, going ons with the killings and murders and brutality from authorities and the like, and particularly with George Floyd and others? The word that comes to mind today that we've been preaching for weeks now is Second Chronicles seven fourteen, for which we know so well. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face in turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. My brothers and sisters, we must understand the first part of the scripture that if we are believers, we are called by his name. We call on the name of Jesus Christ. We believe and we walk and talk in his ways. We are called by his name. The Bible is very clear that we all have been called, but then there is the uh, a conviction upon us to humble ourselves. We are called by his name, but we must humble ourselves, uh, humble from our titles and entitlement and our positions and the like. And we must come down from our pedestals and be ready to receive and hear from the Lord. But it's our understanding that we have prayer and, and being humble on lock. But what we've realized in these weeks since the pandemic is that there's something more we must do. Amen. Uh, the remainder of that scripture says, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and heal the land. If we are seeking the face of God, is it, it is inevitable that we will hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying to us in this time. And then are we turning from wicked ways? Are we turning away from the things that got us into the pandemic, got us into the quarantine to begin with? Um, so much has taken place uh, in our land uh, over the last several weeks, uh, and our community is now having to come back. Our community has uh, been destroyed in several places with businesses and stores and the community now has to restructure and come back. And so uh, we are faced with uh, not only the pandemic, but we are faced with seeking God's face, hearing from God, and determining what it is that he's saying in this time. When we are allowed to come back into the church house, will we come back with a different attitude? Will we come back with a different focus? Will we come back uh, with the focus more so of God and not a focus on ourselves, not a focus on the flesh, not a focus on the things that we desire to do, but the things that God would desire for us to do. The temperature is raising in the world, and we have to raise the temperature in the church house and in the kingdom of God in order to supersede that of the world and to show ourselves as worthy in the presence of God. We ask in this time that you would consider what it is God is speaking to you, and focus your mind, your thoughts, and your actions on moving forward in the things of God. Therefore, in this word, it is clear by way of review, as we're looking to be inspired and to be moved, we must be called by his name, then we have to humble ourselves again, come down off our pedestals, come down off our titles and entitlement, and then we pray. We got that on lock. We're doing that great. We're doing that well. But as my wife said, now we must seek his face and then turn, turn. Yes, uh, racism and prejudice is awful and the brutality and, and, and many brown and black people are being hurt and maimed and killed, but the word is clear. We all have been called. We all must turn. Uh, the Bible's clear. We all have sinned and falling short of the glory of God. And so therefore, we must all take an assessment of our lives, of our ways and what we're doing and how we're doing and what we're saying, where we're going and turn and turn. When we turn and do all the above, then we will hear from heaven. The word is clear. We thank you for this opportunity. We love you. God bless you. Keep 
the faith and stay strong. Amen. Amen.